Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today I want to show you how you can store and secure your bitcoins on a hardware wallet. We will be using um, the Ledger Nano S Plus. However, if you have the Ledger Nano X or S, it would basically be the same process because you are using um, the Ledger Live app and it's very similar. The only difference is, for example, between the Ledger Nano S Plus and the Ledger Nano X, and that the Ledger Nano S Plus doesn't support Bluetooth, um, so you can connect wirelessly to your mobile phone. However, um, you can easily connect via cable um, to your computer. So I will be using the Ledger Nano S Plus, but as I said, it will be the same process. I can only recommend buying a hardware wallet directly from the manufacturer because there you can make sure that no one did anything to the hardware wallet and it's the most secure way to do that. So I put a link down in the description directly to Ledger where you can actually buy these um, hardware wallets and they usually also have um, special promotions very often if you use that link. So feel free to use that and order your Ledger. So the first thing we're gonna do is we need a Bitcoin account on our Ledger. Therefore, we are opening up the Ledger Live app. We click on accounts here. And I already have a Bitcoin account here. So a Bitcoin account basically means it's like a small Bitcoin wallet where you can send and withdraw your Bitcoins to and withdraw them from. If there's no Bitcoin wallet on your ledger, um, you just need to click on add account, select your crypto asset like Bitcoin, and then you can add a Bitcoin account here. And then you need to approve that on your device and that's basically it. Once you have that, you can just click on it and then you click receive and then it opens up the Bitcoin app on your ledger. Um, we're going to approve that. Just takes a minute. And then you can see a Bitcoin address that you can copy. And that's basically our Bitcoin address where we can send our Bitcoins to. So we will gonna do that from Binance because Binance is the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. That's why I will show you how it works on Binance. However, um, all the exchanges are actually pretty similar. So it's um, very similar if you use a different exchange. Here on Binance, we have to go to our spot wallet. Just takes a second. And then we need to click on withdraw. And then you can see um, I can select a coin and we of course want to withdraw Bitcoin and then you can copy the address and it always makes sense to remember the last letters here and the first numbers of your address just to make sure that you are copying the right address. And then you need to select your network and it also shows you your address on your ledger and you need to approve that just that's basically just a security measure and where you can approve um, that the address is actually correct. And then you can type in the amount and then you just hit withdraw here and, and then you need to do your two-factor authentication on Binance and then it basically withdraws your Bitcoin. And then it really depends on the exchange. Sometimes, sometimes it only takes a few minutes until they are processing the withdrawal. Um, and sometimes it can take a couple of hours. That's also an advantage of using a hardware wallet because with a hardware wallet, once you do a, once you do a transaction, it will be basically processed immediately. So it will be done instantly. And that's basically it. Then you just have to wait until your money um, arrives on your account. And you can either see that in your balance or here under latest operations, you can see um, what money or what coins you have received and what you sent somewhere. So that's basically it. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to use the comments down below. If you don't have a hardware wallet yet, I also put the link down in the description. And if you find that video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.